Referred to as a disease that turns your body to bone, fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, or FOP, is a genetic disorder where muscles and connective tissues, such as ligaments and tendons, are progressively converted into bone, known as ossification, which results in the formation of bone outside of the skeleton, which limits movement. The speed of bone growth is different from patient to patient, even in identical twins, and this is a result of different traumas experienced by the patient. Flare-ups occur in episodes, commonly in early childhood, and progress throughout life. The disease is easily, is easily noticeable in children, and it starts in the shoulders and neck, eventually working its way down into the lower limbs. The increase in extraskeletal bone formation results in increasing mobility restraints. The progressive bone formation usually occurs during early childhood, but it can also occur during any stage of life. It may occur spontaneously, but commonly follows trauma to soft tissue or viral illness. The first sign of this bony growth is tender swelling, usually of the upper back and neck, and as the swelling regresses and ossification persists, the end result is mature bone. Chronic swelling in FOP patients occurs with the progressive development of abnormal bones, or as the bones press up against the tissue's lymphatic vessels, reducing tissue fluid movement. In the affected areas, the bone will progressively replace the connective tissues, skeletal muscles, tendons, and ligaments, with the primary affected areas being the neck, chest, back, arms, and legs. As the disease progresses, it eventually affects the hips, elbows, wrists, and ankles. As extra bone formation occurs around the jaw, difficulties eating and speaking will develop along with malnutrition. Respiratory difficulties are also common in this disorder as bone forms around the ribcage, preventing the complete expansion of the lungs. Bone formation around the spine can cause scoliosis, which is the side-to-side -side curvature of the spine, or kyphosis, which is the front-to-back curvature of the spine. The disease results in severe immobilization, and as it progresses, it can result in complete immobilization. The joints can completely fuse, along with the individual vertebrae of the spine. Pain is also very common in FOP patients, as the bone growth presses up on the nerves in the body. Babies born with FOP commonly have malformed big toes, shorter thumbs, and other skeletal abnormalities, and these are features used to distinguish the disorder from FOP and other skeletal conditions. The gene ACVR1 provides the blueprints for how to generate a protein called bone morphogenetic protein type 1 receptor. The ACVR1 protein is responsible for managing the growth and development of muscles and bones along with ossification, and it can be found in cartilage and skeletal muscles throughout the body. One of the core principles in biology is that a protein structure determines its function and its structure is determined by the primary amino acid sequence. Mutations in this primary sequence alter the structure and thus alter the function of the protein. It is believed that a specific mutation in the ACVR1 gene causes a structural change in the protein's binding receptor, altering the protein's activity. Consequently, the receptor may be continuously on, resulting in the progressive growth of bone and cartilage and the joints fusing together. While the majority of FOP cases are from novel genetic mutations in the ACVR1 gene, it's possible to inherit it through vertical transmission. FOP takes on an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern, meaning that one copy of the mutated gene in a cell is sufficient to cause the disease. If one of the parents has FOP, the children will have a 50-50 chance of inheriting the disease, although the disease can be acquired at any time in the life through genetic mutations. Biopsies and intramuscular injections must be avoided as they cause trauma and may result in rapid bone formation. Dental work should be very minimal, excluding any extractions and injections. Patients should avoid any sources of trauma, along with viral illnesses such as influenza and related viruses, as they can cause flare-ups. Patients with FOP are also susceptible to respiratory infections and antibiotics can be used to treat these infections to an extent. 
There is no cure for FOP. Some drugs, such as prednisone, which is a corticosteroid, can be taken during flare-ups, and it minimizes tissue swelling and inflammation. Other treatments, such as granulocyte cell inhibitors and muscle relaxants are options, but should be very closely monitored by physicians. FOP patients should look into occupational therapy, such as special sues, walking aids, and braces. Finally, genetic counseling can be beneficial to couples planning to start a family as there is a hereditary form of the disease. Fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva is very rare, estimated to affect roughly one in every two million people. As a result of its rarity, very little research has gone into the disorder. Due to its rarity, it is considered an orphan disease, which is a disease that less than 200,000 people in a nation have. And if a drug development company decides to develop a drug for FOP, they will receive tax breaks and reduced costs from the government. However, unfortunately, there is currently no cure and very little research going into the disease.